Okay, everybody. Well, I have a few minutes here, and I decided to check out PID. I don't know what this game is at all. Literally. It, I, this is all I've seen about the game. It's called PID in a gray background. There's co-op, huh? I wish I had friends. Let's see what this is. It's, so far, I'm getting an indie vibe, so I'm pretty sure it's an indie game. Which would explain why I've never heard of it. But indie games are pretty cool. Generally, most of them. Most of them actually kind of kick uh, AAA's ass. Especially in like the realm of innovation and gameplay and s sometimes story. Characters. Sometimes not loading screens though. Sometimes, you know, they take, they take longer. Like, uh, I don't know, PID, for example. That loading screen. The loading screen in that game, that... That's an example, one that takes a bit. Why the hell is it taking so long to load? It's not giving me confidence towards what the actual game will be like. Well, I think PID might be a, a dud. Wow, dude. I'll give it one more shot, but I don't. I don't think uh, we're gonna be trying PID tonight. Oh great! It's closing my last game session of PID, so it could prepare PID for me. Is this seriously what's going on right now? Starting a game. It's a game about PID, and PID means pizza. D will you ever play it? Cartoon violence. How would I know if I don't see anything besides a pulsating circle? See this I don't get either. It gets you to the the main title screen and then it tells you to wait then too. Like up to fifteen seconds before you can even press start. Like why? Oh no! 
The pulsating circles are coming for me. Now, I, they're in multiple waves now. All right, finally loaded. And it looks like my um, art skills as a uh, kindergartner yesterday. And here's Trump blowing up an, a country, Syria, soon America. Well, at least no one took his hat. So he disintegrated on a ship because he slept and it went towards it and oh my god that thing is that even a human? What the hell are you? You're a little blob. I hate to say it, but this is already a more interesting space game than No Man's Sky. <sighs> That's a big ass, thick cardboard beard. Oh, that was the bus. Any minute now. Only 12 more hours. Any minute. Gregory, he was a kid waiting for the bus, not much older than you. Generations having trouble changing. Not changing the routes or something wrong with the traffic here. Nobody knows why. Rumors about buses still leave from the big city. I'll walk if I have to. Kurt. Kurt Cobain. Collect stars in this game. Twinkle, twinkle. You collect twinkle, twinkles. Motherfucker. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Don't fall down or else you'll break all your limbs. This reminds Dracona of the Nevermore Flash game series. I don't know what that is. Yo, chef, cook me up some pot brownies. No, madam. Oh, wait, that's a female? Oops. <laughs> Reaching the city is not an easy task. Do it anyway. I got a one way ticket to paradise. Bus ticket to hang on to. Oh no. My first real threat, fucking rolling horse chairs. 
or animatronics. Kind of like RVs almost. Oh, the game has a super generous checkpoint system. Hey, that's a fucking safety violation. You can't have fireworks and shit blow off indoors. Tried to jump, he fought, fell on the spikes, pressed it too late. Checkpoint, surprisingly generous. Now I'm just being overly cocky because it doesn't seem like there's multiple lives or anything. Unless the stars are your lives, which I'm not sure. Should I test the theory and die and see if I have less stars? do it once I actually die though. I'm not gonna purposely die. I'm not getting fucking smoked. Cut up burnt. I'm not a burnt biscuit. Ah, shit. I'm an explosive bitch, apparently. What, I have 36 stars? Alright, so now the stars aren't your lives. Stars are just collectibles no matter what. Well, this looks like an, an interesting, nice, little, fun, quirky, like, side scrolling indie game. Are they telling me I need 65 to continue? What the fuck? Don't fall. Watch out. Duck. <laughs> and the cave is the second level. Interesting. But now, how are there going to be stars in a cave? Stars are in the sky. Huh. Gotta open that before I can talk to him. And it's, uh, is it a key? Got the power. She so can use little glowing balls to create platforms. I mean, I'm sure that's great during sexual intercourse. Beam me up, baby. I need to get real up in there. Alright, well I think I've gotten uh, a taste for what this game's all about. This is pretty interesting. I like it. I wouldn't mind continuing it if anyone wanted to see me uh, flesh out what this game has to offer fully and its story if there really is one and all that so uh i mean there is a story this guy wants to get back get back on the bus get back to the city but uh you know what i mean but uh other than that pretty cool pretty cool i'm actually kind of glad i checked it out to see what it was it wasn't it, it actually exceeded my expectations for not 
for going into a game not knowing anything about it. So yeah, there's that. Have a good one.